Hey there, Internet. In part one's video, we talked about how you can take a folder with a bunch of files and back it up into a tar file using the tar command. Now, if you haven't seen that, I would definitely recommend checking that out first. I'll leave a link down in the description. And I will put try and put one of those cue cards up here in the corner. So if you've already seen it and you're fairly familiar with how to use the tar command to back up files, how about we <coughs> te uh, we'll move on to part two, which is in this video, and I'll show you how to back up an entire part drive or a partition from a drive using a disk image file and also using the dd command. So once again, we have the My Backup fol folder from last time, and of course we still have the tar file in there. Now, to do this, you're going to have to run the dd command. So you're going to need to open up a terminal window, and you're going to have to plug in this command. It's sudo dd, so if for input file equals dev slash sdb and we're going to do this because we want to specify the flash drive that I want to back up for an example in this video then you're going to do of for output file equals and we're going to say we're going to put it in home slash joey slash my underscore backup slash and now we're going to give it a file name and because we're going to do the entire disk we're going to call it back up underscore disk now you need to give it the in a file extension and because this is writing an image file we're going to do img which is the three letter file extension for an image file so once you've typed this in you hit enter it's going to ask for my the password And you can see the terminal doesn't return anything. It just goes blank. And it just sits there flashing. Now don't be concerned. It's actually doing what it needs to do. <clears throat> and I should also say don't be alarmed. It's doing what it needs to do. To my knowledge, and, the, and I believe the current version as of today of the DD command really doesn't have a verbose mode. So as it's doing things, it really won't spit out what it's doing. So it'll just sit here at the terminal, kind of blinking until it is completely done. It'll basically tell you uh, one or two small details, and then it will return you to the prompt. So how about while it's writing the file, and you can see it's created the backup disk image here, I'll explain these commands a little more in depth. Now here, the sudo command, if you don't already know, runs any command after it in, with the administrative rights. Now the dd command needs these administrative rights and privileges to be able to read the partitions and write files and sometimes you might want to back up your Linux drive and system files so it's going to need that administrative rights to read though to read and write those files. Now as I said earlier the if or input file equals uh, oh, um, or and specifies the input of what you want to back up and in a minute we'll explain how this slash dev slash sdb is equal to my flash drive and then of course the of or output file equals the place where I want to put it plus the file name that I want to call it so again I want to put it in the home the home slash joey slash my backup folder so again there you can see there it is up here and I did the slash here to continue and then I specified the name of the file which is backup underscore disk dot img <clears throat> and again you need to specify this dot img because you need to specify that it's an image file again image file now, 
now that it's done, it wrote. You can see it's to finished its output, and it's told how much it recorded in, how much it recorded out, how much bytes, and approximately what it is, and how long it took, and how about how fast it wrote. So this is how you would do the entire disk. Now if I wanted to do a particular partition on my flash drive, and we'll change this around. So we'll go back and we want to do the first let's do the let's do the first and only partition on this drive. <clears throat> and instead of calling this disk, because we don't want to overwrite our first one, we'll call it part, short for partition. And once again, we'll hit enter. It sits there blinking. And there you go, it wrote another image. So, you're pro once again, you're probably wondering, so for the input, in the, or the IF file, where is this DEV slash SDB1 and DEV slash SDB? Where are they and what are they and so on and so forth? So if we open up a partition manager, again, you can use any which one you want, but I'm going to use gparted because it's nice there and convenient. You can see that we have two drives here, and, this, and they're specified by these weird things. Now, this is how you specify a drive in Linux. So this slash dev slash sda is my hard drive. And my the slash dev slash sdb is my flash drive, and you can see there's the partition there. Now you can kind of think of this slash dev slash sdb1 and some of the other, you know, sda followed by a number is kind of Linux equivalent to Windows to Microsoft Windows drive letter. So when you plug in a flash drive into Windows, it'll say, you know, like D colon or E colon or F colon or whatever drive letter Windows decides to assign to it. Well, Linux doesn't use drive letters to register drives. Again, Linux will mount the, f the f um, will mount the volume in a folder, but will specify it as this slash DEV slash whatever it decides to give it. And again, it does them in uh, alphabetical order. So the first drive that's plugged in is SDA. The flash drive, well, again, the hard drive doesn't need to be plugged in. It's automatically there. The first flash drive that I plugged in will be SDB. If I plugged in a second flash drive, it would be SDC, so on and so forth. And again, each partition, the first partition gets a 1, second partition gets a 2, 3, so on and so forth. So when we wanted to back up the entire drive, we did the slash dev slash sdb, and again that will do the whole drive, and if we wanted to, and for, for the first one, and when the set when we did the second one, we wanted to specify this particular partition. So we use the slash dev slash sdb1. And again, you can see it finished writing both files. They look very, very, very similar. Now, that's all well and good, but what if we wanted to back up something from my hard drive here? Now, we're not because, one, it is going to take a very long time, and I don't think you will you YouTubers on the other side will want to sit there and twiddle their thumbs while you watch a blinking screen and two it takes a lot of space here so it's going to take a long um, a lot of space to write out that 476.94 gigabyte file <clears throat> now what I will also say is when you do back up if we did want to back up this drive, we would replace this input file slash, or I should say equals slash dev slash s, well, you know what, let's do this one, sdb with this here. So it would read 
input file or if equals slash dev slash sda. Now what this would do is this would write all the partitions in one image file. So this would basically back up the entire drive, all 476.94 gi uh, gigabytes of it. And again, if we wanted to do a particular partition, let's say my, what is that, Windows partition right there, why not? We would uh, replace the if equals dev slash sda or the slash dev slash sdb1 with this slash dev slash sda3. So then obviously it would be if equals uh, slash dev slash sda3. And again, it would be the same thing with my Linux partition here, which is right here. Again, you would replace that whole um, thing with this right here. So how about we take a look at these partitions? Now, again, you can use any partition, or, sorry, how about we take a look at these images? Now you can use any image viewer that you want. I'm gonna use the Linux equivalent of Power ISO. And we're gonna minimize these windows just to make it a bit easier. So now if we open it and we go to Joey, we go back to our folder. So here we go, my backups. And there you go. So how about we take a look at the partition one first. We'll open that up, and there you go. There's all the folders and files that I have on this flash drive. Now, if you've also noticed, down here it specifies FAT16. So not only will it back up all the files and folders on the drive, it'll back up the, part, the filing system that goes along with the partition as you do with image files. Now the tar file that we talked about in the previous video mimics just a folder. So because the image file doesn't mimic and back up an entire drive, or I should say because the tar because the tar folder doesn't do that, it won't have a filing system and it won't back up the filing system. It'll just back up the folder and the files that go in it. So there you go, you can see that works. You can see all the f files, you can see all, I'm sorry, you can see all the folders, you can see all the files, and you can see the partition table here. <clears throat> now if we open up the disk one, it's asking me to import a partition. Now if we had backed up my entire drive here and we had the time and the space, it would list all these partitions here in this import window. But again, because my flash drive only has one partition, it's only gonna show this one partition. So there we go, we're gonna hit import. And once again, because it's the same partition, it's gonna have the same files and folders and so on and so forth. And again, if you look, there's the FAT16 partition. <clears throat> so we'll get out of that. We'll close out of that. Now, you're probably wondering, all right, this is all good and cool. Now I know how to back it up, but how do I restore it? Well, very simply, you would switch your input and your output. So instead of putting your... The, you know what, we'll even just select it instead of, oop. oh right, I can't select. So instead of putting this, giant, oop, instead of putting this giant command here, we would set, we would put the output file to where we want it to go, so slash dev slash s D B and we will replace the input file with 
So we'll replace the input file with the image file. And this would then, you know, we would hit enter and wait for it to write. And this will take the image file and write it to the flash drive. So, and then, ba and that's basically it. So, YouTube, that's basically how you back up and restore your disks to and from an image file. Now, if you have a kind of a nerdy friend that would enjoy this, definitely recommend sharing. If you've this video's helped you, you can give me a nice thumbs up and like, click that like button. Because, again, the likes always help my videos in the channel. And, of course, if you want more kind of nerdy videos about computer and other sciencey stuff, <clears throat> you can subscribe to the channel and, of course, check it out because we have a wide variety of computers, electronics. Um, we're even going to put up some more audio stuff up there. I know we have one or two kind of record audio stuff, but I might just throw some more stuff up there sooner or later. So, YouTube, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.